well, it had to be ordinary people. You know, the, that was such a change of pace that a woman could be so brittle inside that she could alienate her son. Um, I saw her as a victim. I saw her as um, very reminiscent of my own life. And uh, so I had to do that role. And I thank God for Robert Redford, who had the vision to believe that I could, in fact, pull it off. And I don't know how he knew that, but he said that when he first read the book, he had me in mind for it. And then after we had this first talk about it, he then went on to spend three months auditioning every actress in town. <laughs> and he came back to me. My expectation, my self-expectation, um, which is for perfectionistic, uh, unachievable dreams, and um, thereby tending to expect that of other people around me. Um, a lot of my father, a lot of determination not to be like my mother, um, just an inability to be a whole person and give it freely. I won an Academy Award nomination too, yeah. In fact, one day I ran into Jim Brooks on the street and he came over and he said, Mary, uh, Mary. <laughs> He did this, oh my God, he was so affected by the character that I had played in the movie after all the years we had been together on the show. <laughs> it, was, um, it was disappointing to me, though, how many people would say of Beth Jarrett, boy, she was a bitch, because I don't see her as that. I see her as a victim. I see her as a woman who wanted to do the right thing and was taught how to do the right thing and never let it spontaneously erupt.